Hey everyone, today I'll explain the River device. The device is originally named as Create Water and can be found in World Machine 3, 0, 2, 6 and higher versions. You can of course use it directly after you train for people wondering these are the inputs. If you use them directly after train, it will come out like this. Big lakes, some tiny streams of water. Not very nice. We can display the water onto the train with the output scene view with the water symbol. We have to select the train of the create water, a texture input and the water input. Then on the left we can display the water over here. Same goes with the guys level which often is used as a C you can, by pressing it and higher, making it higher you can see the C. We will be focusing on scene water. The guide level and scene water do not cooperate, so in the scene view you cannot see the guide level. Without doing anything, this is our result of the create water device. This is not optimal since a lot of small dots appear in the map. We can limit this by using a filter called the flow restructor. If we use it before the create water, it makes that l that pulls won't happen. As you can see, where first where there was first a pull here, it now just went away and made it accessible for a river. If we now turn to the create water, we can see that there are only rivers and no lakes. If we now go to the scene view, you can see the beautiful rivers. We can of course hire the amount of rivers by lowering the channel head area. By lowering it, you can see on the left, it will create more and more rivers. If we set this to, this to close to maximum, you can see that the create water device just goes all out and creates the rivers wherever it's possible. We don't want it. We'll keep it at a basic. For the minimum water depth it will create, if we delete this, you can see that the create water will create small streams. If we lower the minimum water depth, those streams will be almost not noticeable. If we increase the minimum water depth, it will be really, really obvious and not nice. Therefore, I always tend to use it quite low, since if you export it to Minecraft, Unity, or any other program which uses height maps, you do not see the rivers that much. We can also change the discharge scaler. What this does, it, it will shrink the, the rivers or widen it a bit. If we look at the water, you can clearly see that the more water comes to the river, the wider it got. So, for instance, if we lower it all the way, you can see that the river won't get any bigger the more water gets to it. This is, of course, very unnatural and I always leave it at around 0.4. Then we have flow speed, which to my knowledge doesn't affect it a lot, and I haven't used it a lot, so we'll leave it out for now. You can also edit your own current headwaters. We have currently set it to automatic, but we can also do it to specify. It will show up as nothing, but it will allow us to edit the headwater options. I will be masking this by pressing F, going into the head water options and pressing where I want a river to start. There, here and here. 
if we now go back to the scene view we can see that on the three spots I have marked rivers starting to flow down. I hope that I clarified everything about the create water device and if you have any questions just leave them in the comments. I hope to see you next time. Ciao!